guys, I just want to talk to you about something, and sometimes you guys are my sounding board, so we'll see if there's any lesson in this at all. Um, I think I've told you already that in that nature game I like to play with VR, there was this one part of the Redwoods where I could walk through, and you all know there are foxes in there, but there are what I call the tulip foxes. Straight away out of the first part of the game, like when you'd be, if you would have walked straight forward after you start playing, foxes would be running up and down, and if you walk so far down this path and then turned around, you saw all these pretty pinkish tulips. Now, when they very first appeared in the game, they were very translucent, like they were going to be there for, like, later. And then they became more solid as, you know, time went on, and it was kind of magical because you could be walking back through the map looking at these tulips and suddenly you would see one almost like grow up out of the ground in front of you and I really loved it and I believe I mentioned it in my email to personally thank the developer and I normally don't go out of my way and do that but this game has helped so much with the depression and anxiety and I went in today and I just I just came back from like a 10 minute session to see if they were there no tulip foxes. No, there are more foxes in the game now. And there are more other stuff in the game, but no tulips. And I thought, you know, that, that's kind of odd because this developer doesn't seem to mind whimsy. I mean, there's a T-Rex on the African savanna and there's um, a uh, woolly mammoth in the winter part. So, you know, this is not one of those developers that's very serious, serious. And, you know, only logical things will be there. And I was like, oh, my, my tulip foxes are gone. Because I kind of had honestly come to depend on them. And I even named one of the foxes. Now they all look the same. And I'm not saying all foxes look the same. In this game, literally every animal looks exactly like every other animal. Space reasons and such. And... I'd actually come to depend on those little guys running through the woods and the tulips. As dumb as that sounds, and as illogical as it sounds for foxes to run through and tulips to grow after, I liked it. And I didn't know what to do with myself in the game today. I literally did not know. I kept walking back and forth, look, you know, looking for the tulips. I kept trying to trigger it. I kept trying to do different things to see, like, had I done something to trigger this and didn't remember it? Nope. Um, I, I know probably why they're gone. Other effects are being added, like more mist and stuff, and these little white things. I, I don't know if they're supposed to be like those puffs you see in the fall, like from seed pods or something. But those have been added, and I'm like, uh, birds been added. I'm like, I don't care about all of that. I want my tulips back, and I want my tulip foxes, and you know, I, I really had come to depend on that little bit of whimsy at the end of the day, or you know, even during the day, and I, I didn't know what to do. As I said, to, for the rest of the game, I went and I was on the rivers, and I saw the fish, which was been at it, which was nice enough. And I went to other maps, you know, other little parts of that world. And there had been animals added or features added or something. It was nice enough, but, you know, for me, nothing could replace my tulip foxes. I I didn't care if one of the foxes had got up and started doing the can can or wore a hula skirt or something. Nothing could have replaced those tulip foxes. So it was really weird. It was like, you know, it kind of sounds silly maybe to people that haven't played the game or maybe don't have depression. But, you know, out of, like, ten areas to explore in, like, a fairly big map, there was this one tiny part on this one map that I really enjoyed. Because it, w it was so silly that a fox would run through and then tulips would grow. And I am getting a caution here that my headset's ru running out. Hold on. And it just... Hold on. There we go, bloody inconvenience. And it just made me, you know, a little frustrated and a little tense because I was like, oh my god, we're coming on to winter. And I'd kind of come to depend on seeing them every day. It was, 
It was like if you go for a walk in the park every day or you see a certain animal every day, like a certain wild animal. No, they're not going to be where they should, well, you feel they should be every, every day. But it's like if you had a bird feeder and the birds were there every day and suddenly there were no birds. Um, you, you'd be, you'd be at a loss what to do because like, say there were no birds and they never came back. You'd be at a loss what to do. You'd be, you know, outside seeing, are there predators? Did something change? Uh, it was kind of like the same feeling. Like, um, there was nothing I did unless me mentioning them made the developer feel, oh, I can't have two foxes in the game. That's just far too silly. Or, you know, maybe the developer stumbled across this channel and didn't like that it was being used in a pagan context. Though, to be fair for the developer, you know, towards the developer, developers never contacted me and said, hey, I don't appreciate that you got some kind of pagan context out of this. I mean, it's nature, dude. There's nothing you do about it. <laughs> and it's just... I was actually sad, and Loki's like, what's the matter? And I'm like, there's no more tulip foxes. And he's like, well, what else is there to do on the map? And we're both like, nothing, we miss our tulip foxes. So we're, we're both kind of sad. I mean, it was one of those dumb things that I felt kind of like would junk up the channel if I put it on. I had, this channel used to be really lousy, and I went through and I cut a whole lot of garbage out. I probably cut, like, at least half of my videos out. And, because I used to try to throw anything at the wall and see what stuck. I didn't know what people wanted. And now I'm, like, kicking myself because had I made you the video, I would have the video. <laughs> I mean, not that I don't care about all of you, but had I made you the video, I would have the video. No, I know in time I'd be like, yeah, who cares. But... Just, it was like, you know, it was funny. A friend of mine and I were talking about getting ready for the winter with having depression. And you're not going to have your sunlight. And you're not going to have your warmth. And those are, you know, two things to deal with when you have depression. And I was like, well, I know she's going to have a hard time. But in the back of my head, I'm like, I'll always have the VR to go into. I can go to a beach or I can go play with my tulip foxes or whatever. I still go to the beach. I just can't play with the tulip foxes. It's a silly thing I know to be sad about, but um, it was, I guess, something I connected so strongly to Loki. The absurdity of, you know, tulips just suddenly growing out of the ground in the woods. I mean, someone could have planted them, perhaps, but... You know, thus far, no humans have appeared in the game. Um, it was just, it was, it was sad. It was like if you passed a tree on the way to work for years. And it was apparently healthy to you, but you passed by one day and it's gone. Or you had a friend who had a garden that you really admired and loved. And one day they decided, eh. Too much work, and they, like, covered it with asphalt or something. So, uh, we'll be okay, and I'll be fine. It was just, you know, it was just one of those things. And that's kind of like the heartache of getting a game that's still in development. You can love these silly little quirky things that are in the developing game, and they don't match the developer's vision, and all of a sudden they're gone. I mean, I know it would have been a junk video to make for you guys, but no, I'm kicking myself because I dealt their comeback, but I did go in and edit myself, my review. I still left it five stars, but I said, oh, well, no, the two little foxes are gone. So I, I put my protest in there very politely. I said, mm, no, you know, no, they're gone. It's still a great game, but the tool of foxes are gone. Yeah, but, you know, if you want to make me happy, you could put them back. It won't take much work, I think. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, I don't know. Maybe the tulips were, like, meant to grow in another one of the worlds, like the spring meadow or something, and they didn't belong in the fall part. But I just, I found it enchanting. And now it's gone. <laughs> okay. 
Uh, if you guys like what you see, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.